Jeremy Clarkson has issued a warning to fans after revealing that his ailment has been ignored by many, which could lead to serious problems in the future. The former Top Gear star has revealed that he has been experiencing a runny nose and persistent cough since mid-December and has warned that it could be another COVID-19 type illness, reports The Mirror. He claimed that despite taking various over-the-counter drugs, he hasn't recovered and cannot see himself feeling well any time soon. The 63-year-old has stated that he fears he is suffering from a version of whooping cough. Writing about his experience, Jeremy has said, I cough myself to sleep at night, my nose is like a tap, and every morning I produce about a pint of phlegm. I've tried everything. Pills. Lemsip. Sitting in front of a roaring fire watching slow horses. According to the NHS website, whooping cough, pertussis, is a bacterial infection of the lungs and breathing tubes. It has been advised that babies and children should be vaccinated against it and the infection spreads very easily and can sometimes cause serious problems. In his column with The Sun, Jeremy wrote, It seems I'm not alone. According to doctors across the country, thousands of people are suffering too from what's become known as the 100-day cough or as it used to be called whooping cough, an infection he believed had died out several years ago. Some data shows a rise in whooping cough cases with the UK Health Security Agency, UCSA, stating that there had been 716 suspected cases of whooping cough in England and Wales from early July to the end of November last year, compared with 217 in the same period in 2022. The agency added that COVID-19 is likely the reason why pertussis cases have increased. The star also highlighted that almost 300,000 people, mainly children, die every year from the infection across the world and wonders why nothing is being done. He added, and what fascinates me is that no one is paying much attention to the outbreak here. Fortunately for his farming business, Jeremy has managed to continue working despite the illness. With his tongue in his cheek, Jeremy added, either way, it's not the end of the world, because if I do become really ill, I can always see a doctor at my local hospital. No, hang on a minute.